G'day everyone. Third, number three take of this video because I had to go get my little sharpening stone which is actually from a cheap shop. So what I've done, this is an exhaust fan motor. It's just a shaded pole motor. Um, it, this fan was noted to be noisy and I thought it was time for a service. So, clean the dust off it. You know, you can see plenty of dust hanging around the joint. The dust building up on the field coil um, hinders cooling of the motor and therefore it will overheat and especially these bushes are dry so it, yeah it is stiff so yep it was making noise and I also noticed as it got hotter and hotter in the ceiling um, due to the bloody hot weather at the moment this fan ran a lot quieter and that's probably because the oil was being thinned out by the heat. Bronze bushes um, lubrication work by capillary action. They are self-centering so if you see that they're Here's one I prepared earlier. This has already been lubricated. I'll get rid of the excess oil, but it's a self-centering bronze bush. It has a felt pad under that retaining clip, um, and the felt pad's always in contact with the bronze bush. The bronze bush, if you look at it under a microscope, has tiny little capillaries, or um, pores, if you like, um, throughout its thickness, and the oil soaks through the pores into the actual bronze itself. Um, and um, that's how it lubricates, um, that's how it keeps lubricated. Everything that moves, uh, every, every mechanical thing that, that has movement between two metal parts is lubricated. It has to be, um, yeah, so if it's not lubricated you get metal to metal contact. Lubrication via the little um, microscopic balls that form the long chain molecules in oil or grease or whatever you're using um, separate the two metal surfaces of the shaft and the bronze from actually coming into contact. That's why well lubricated um, components last a really long time because they're not in contact with each other. Um, so you really want a lot of oil to soak into that felt pad. Um, you know, keep putting oil in there till no more oil will soak in and then equally as important, um, get rid of the excess. Now I'm trying to keep this video length down because I'm sure you know people don't want a really long video on shaded pole motors and I think a lot of people just like destroying them but which is kind of cool as well. Um, but, you know, they're a good little motor if they're looked after and yeah, get the dust off them, keep them clean. I mean, really, the best way to clean it would be to take it outside and blow it out with the air compressor to get rid of all the crap off it, but I'm not going to do it because I'm lazy, so there you go. But anyway, rust on the shaft, I've already cleaned it off. Um, get your scouring pad out, wrap it around, and um, clean all the crap off it. Now, this has a circlip, or a C-clip, um, that sits on this... Um, in this little retaining groove, which you probably can't see in this, I think you can see it, but anyway, it sits on there and the fan bolts down onto that. It's actually a D shaft because um, a fan hub. Um, should have a D in there, but this doesn't seem to, so not actually a D, although it's just a universal motor allowing for other applications, so you know obviously it's probably sold to some people that use the D instead of this little system but uses a retaining clip and the fan bolts down onto it so it's become like bell mouthed if you like um, so get out your little stone or file you only want to use a light don't go using a bastard file on it use a light um, finishing file or something or even a points file um, just clean it off so so that you're not do not just drag this bush over that um, groove or whatever. Always clean the rust and always make sure that the shaft diameter hasn't, you know, grown in a spot due to something like a circlip or whatever. So anyway, I've cleaned it off. It comes off, right? Now you can see, looking at the shaft or journal, that it's kind of not um, steel colour. It's um, discoloured, so it's probably been running a bit warm. So a bit dirty in there. 
the actual bush itself, and the camera won't come out on the camera. If it'll focus. Yeah, you can't see it, but the inside of this bush is discoloured too. It's the felt pad, if you can see it in there. It's almost got a whitish look about it, so when they're well lubricated, they go black or dark. So that's why the fan's been noisy because it's um, clean all this crap off it. It's um, had metal to metal contact with the bronze bush. So, what I'm going to do and what I recommend you do okay, now take off very carefully, take off the um, they're just nylon shims to take up the end float. You should be cleaning everything. Now, don't mix them up. Don't break them. Don't, because you got, they're different to each end, so it's been shimmed out to be correct. So anyway, make sure they're clean. Keep them together. They're off that end of the motor, so now you've got all that crap out of the way. It's also got another black spacer there. You know, make sure because not all the bits are stereo. They're all some of the bits are, are different. You know, so they're not all the same. So it's still discoloured. See, still not right. So just give the shaft a polish. You're not aiming to remove material. You're just aiming to clean off the damage on the shaft. So the other end's not as bad. See, it's not too bad at all. If it'll focus, see the other end's fine. But I'm still going to polish it. Linish is the correct term, but yeah, polish, linish, whatever. I'm not aiming to, to remove material, so just keep that in mind. Don't remove material, because then it'll be noisy anyway, and you'll never be able to fix it, so... Remember with a shaded pole motor, the um, rotor's position relative to um, the body of the motor will determine its direction of rotation. It's called a squirrel cage rotor, so if you reverse it, like change its position relative to the body of the motor, its direction of rotation will be reversed. So if you bugger it up and you get it around the wrong way, this motor will actually go backwards. So keep that in mind as well. So it's not too bad, it's um, not perfect, but... Just clean all the crap off it. I'm not aiming to remove much material, so, if any, it's just a little bit more polished, okay? Um, gener generally a fairly good policy. The shaft's fairly hard anyway, so you're not going to be removing any material, like, very, very easily, especially with only a scouring pad. Give the other one a clean, give the other end of it a clean too. Just gets all the old oil and crap. Lubricate the bush. See it change colour when it soaks in? You probably can't see it on the stupid camera. As good as this camera is, it's not perfect. But you'll have to take my word for it. Same deal with the other end. Soak the crap out of that felt pad. You do not want it to run dry. Because remember, exhaust fans are responsible for a surprising number of house fires. So, if they are not lubricated and they run dry, the fan motor will run hot, it'll be noisy and a pain in the bloody ass, and um, it can burn your house down. So keep the dust away from the motor and keep it lubricated. And yeah, I do recommend you buy a half decent exhaust fan because if it's a piece of shit, you're not going to pull it apart and lubricate it because it's too much of a pain. So it's fairly well lubricated, that self centering. Let's see it move around in there. Self centering. Yep. So just make sure it's well lubricated. And what you want to do is have on hand a tissue to get rid of the excess oil off this because you don't want yards of oil hanging around. I think I've got a Macca serviette that'll do the job. Separate it out. Yeah, you just you don't want tons of oil. So here's one that I've already lubricated. 
Also remember if you're doing it in your kitchen floor to clean the oil off the floor because someone will kill themselves on it. Probably me. So just just pad off the extra excess oil. I'm not using an editing program so you guys will just have to suffer through it or um, yeah just find a video that's shorter. So that's reasonably well you know, cleaned off. No more oil is going to soak into that pad. It's as lubricated as it, as it gets. It's worth making sure the oil soaks in because if it doesn't it'll run dry eventually so shims go on there to take up the um, end flow to the shaft Just dab a tiny, it's nylon so it doesn't need lubricating but mostly using that oil to clean it off look at that, it's a lot better than it was they should be free too. Now if they haven't been lubricated for a long time, see how when I rub that bronze bush up and down, get this brown stuff out of it. It's a policy as well. You know, make sure there's no build up of crap in there. Old lubricant. Because they actually don't work very well when they've got lots and lots of crap in there. Bronze bushes. I've even had to run a drill bit through some of them the same size as the bushes bore so that they, they work properly. Like I said, don't mix these up. They're not the same end to end, so get it right. Or the damn thing will will um, not spin properly. The self-centering um, Rom's bushes. So I'll show you how to deal with that in a sec. I think from memory that just sat there. Tighten it down evenly and, you know, don't tighten the shit out of it, but don't want it to be loose because it'll be noisy and do damage, so. Like I said, you're not aiming to wring the crap out of it, but at the same time you do want it tight, so. Bloody hell, it's just Phillips bloody... So, yeah. Right, now this shaft may not want to spin properly. Now this, this is right, but sometimes what you've got to do is very gently, not with a hammer and not with a piece of steel, just give it a tap side to side, very gently, and that'll help centre the bushes up. I'm going to dab a bit of lubricant in the um, just where the bush meets the um, shims, nylon shims. Nylon technically doesn't really need lubricating, but so this is going to be a lot quieter. It'll run cooler and will drag a very small amount less current. Not that you could probably even you know tell via a um, ammeter, but.
So just to give you guys a um, dirty piece of crap, I'm going to give it a proper clean, but just give you an idea. I think it actually might have got this round the wrong way, this way it was bolted together. Oh no, that's about right. See, bronze bushes, motors with bushes should be lubricated well enough that they spin freely. See, spin down time is nice and long. Bushes have a small amount more drag than um, ball bearings. That's the difference if you're talking about motors like this. They're not necessarily better. I mean, bushes actually tend to last longer. But anyway, this video is long enough. I'm not going to bore you guys anymore. Um, that's how you maintain a shaded pole motor correctly. Thanks for watching.